Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So earlier today I did have the pleasure in participating in the Queso Cup semifinals and you know, obviously everyone knows about the Queso Cup, super popular tournament. Shout out to Alvaro and Niers, uh, everyone involved in Queso Cup. You guys are very OP, love all of you. Anyways, uh, we managed to take first. We didn't lose a game in single in the regular season. So we, uh, we're playing to get into the finals and there's four teams left. Uh, us, Power Rangers, Humble Grinders, and um, Toast Team. I'm not really sure what their name is, sorry guys. But uh, yeah, we're versing Alex team right now, Humble Grinders, and we're gonna get into the games right away. So we're starting off with some knockout, and yeah, let's get into the games. All right guys, so game number one, uh, we decided to go with a tank comp, and uh, they kind of went with like, I'd say Leon and Rico, it's like pretty standard here. Um, the Gene, obviously Gene's like pretty good in almost every competitive knockout map, I think in my opinion. So uh, I definitely think their comp's pretty solid. I think our comp can be well, like really good too if we execute it properly. But uh, like I think tanks here are just a little harder to execute than on some other takeout maps. And uh, unfortunately, me and Zar, we kind of just go through a corridor and the Rico has super. So uh, we just get wiped out by his levy. He played a really good uh, Rico. And yeah, Bobby's gonna get a really good double stun and he'll get his super back. But it's a little unfortunate that me and Zara got caught up in that Rico super. Uh, so Alex came off to a really good start here as well. And we do have super, so uh, we're looking to make some plays here as well. So Zara is going to tap them, and unfortunately he's going to get taken out. Bobby's going to get a really good super. And now it's 2v2, so we just kind of, like, we got to be careful of Leon, obviously. Uh, Bobby decides to go in, though. It's just a little too far, though, and the Rico is just able to super him. So it was a good uh, super, but, you know, it was just kind of tough because Rico had super, and he could just, like, clip him really easily. So I'm just kind of left alive for a little, like, Ash, and, you know, I'm just going to go down. So they're going to take game one of hot zone. All right guys, so game number two of hot zone. We did decide to go with the uh, squishy air, more kind of like standard comp for the map here. I don't think we play the tank comps uh, very well. Usually with tank comps, we want to get Toonie in, but he wasn't around uh, just because Toonie is the goat at tanks. So they're actually going to elect for uh, kind of like jump on top of you comp with the Buzz and the Edgar and the ticks just, I mean, it's tick. It's really good in all the knockout maps pretty much and it's just really consistent, right? Like otherwise I would just be able to be like super aggro and push them up. Alex is gonna gadget on top of me and he's gonna be in a really aggressive position. So Raz is gonna move up. He'll pop his shield right there to tank the Piper shot, but uh, he just doesn't get close enough with his jump there. A little unlucky for him. Zar is gonna be able to take him out and Alec does have super, so they can turn this around pretty easily. But uh, Zar is gonna get a really good shot on his levy and they're gonna have to back off now. And uh, they just lost all their positions. So Smoke's gonna be like kind of pinching them out and I think they kind of know that this game's like not going too well for them. So they should probably just like, you know, go in the smoke. Alec knows that. Uh, so he's just going to run in the smoke, not give any value to us so we don't charge up our supers. It's smart play. And uh, you guys should definitely practice doing that if you are playing knockout. And obviously you don't do that if it's match point on knockout. But, uh, you know, when it's the first one and you just don't want to give them supers to the next one. Just uh, run in that smoke if it's uh, if it looks pretty unwinnable. Drop the ego, guys. Um, so yeah, they're just kind of waiting for us to overextend here. And you can see Alec, he almost was able to get on Zara there. So we definitely need to be careful because they all have supers. And if Alec and Raz are able to get on someone at the same time, like, it's just over for them. And he's gonna get a really good super, but Bobby's gonna hit a nice shot on him. And uh, Raz is gonna jump in. I'm gonna pop my tick head, but uh, Raz, you can see the shield getting so much value there. And uh, he's able to just kind of sneak out. So as Levy kind of just walks in and like body blocks and just pushes Bobby into like three tick mines. So good play. I, uh, you know, I shouldn't have gadgeted there, but uh, it's okay. Um, so really well played there from Is Levy and Raz. Uh, they definitely got that round for their team. And uh, yeah, but the map is opened up. Uh, I don't like Raz going there, and that's the reason why. I think with their comp, it's good to stick together. They were trying to be sneaky though, um, but you know, we just have to, as much as like something, just shoot a shot up in a bush, and it's like that simple. So uh, now their team's at a pretty big deficit. I don't have any tick gadgets though. So if the buzz does get on me, I'm kind of just dead at this point. So I gotta be really careful and. You know, knockout, it's a very boring mode sometimes. It's a lot of patience and 
sometimes there's just a lot of like dead time like this where you don't do anything and you're just trying to get like position alex is going to do a good play on czar you kind of have to go for that there but i am able to just clean him up sorry i'm pretty low bobby is just gonna take no chances get that curve ready mina's levy having a tick 1v1 i get my head and uh, i'm gonna knock him over and bobby is able to just secure the kill all right guys game number three of knockout so you can see we both kind of went for the safer standard comp we did play squeak I was 100% me and I'm very disappointed I didn't get to play it because it squeaks mine. Like, but Bobby was like, oh gee, like, you're too good at tick. Like, we need you to carry us on tick. Like, nobody else can play this super difficult brawl. And I was like, Bobby, it's fine. I got you. So I had to play tick, unfortunately. Zar, he's a pretty decent squeak though. So uh, he's got the pass. And uh, yeah, we do get a kill on the gene and Bobby's just looking to open up the map a little bit. It should hurt the Rico. Now we just have to be really careful of the Leon because Leon can just kill any of us pretty easily, like just like that. And uh, me and Zara, we're gonna pinch him. I think I managed to get him with the corner of my tick shot. Yeah, we do. Otherwise, like it's a completely different game if the Leon does make it out there. Um, but we do have like Squeak Super if we really need it. And you know, I don't think we should. Like Squeak Super is so good in knockout. If you literally hit someone, they just die because of the slow. So I'm just gonna run in and kind of, you know, get my gadget on, knock him into a wall, and pretty easy clean up there. So again, kind of their win condition is like either Gianpol or Leon just sneaking on us and getting out. So, uh, you know, I gotta keep my tick head ready and we gotta keep an eye on the Leon to just kind of like check and uh, make sure he doesn't have super. But uh, like, if it's like this, if we hit a Piper shot, I think it's really good. He can just curve right away pretty much. And it should be a kill on like anyone, I think, when we're just poking from max range. And, you know, Squeak's got decent poke, area denial, Tick's obviously probably the best poker here. Gene's got good poke too, but, um, you know, I'd be more concerned about Piper hitting a shot and uh, us just killing them. But uh, Raz is going to try sneaking on us. I get taken out really low and, you know, we just kind of drop our supers, get out of there. But uh, Raz didn't get a ton of value there, which is really good for us. So uh, our main objective should just be not feed Raz, because I think he's their win condition, in my opinion. Bobby's just gonna panic gadget. Um, and, you know, we're kind of getting pushed back in the smoke. Raz is gonna super, which really good, again, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't use my tick head there. That's the ego play. But, uh, you know, I thought we had a chance, um, but we were just kind of backed off backed up i think we were playing too passive in my opinion um so you know just checking the bush make sure they're not on the right side we see them and now we can just get into the pokemon game so i want to play around the wall that i'm on and um yeah you know it really just comes down to getting a super hitting a shot and being careful of the leon so bobby's gonna hit a really good shot on the gene and uh, as levy's taking down to one shot as well czar is gonna get a nice super there i'm just gonna drop my tick head so if he doesn't know where to go he just bodyguards which is perfect into the leon he's gonna just wait it out find the leon and yeah we are going to take knockout all right guys game number two it's going to be a uh, gem grab on hard rock mine so we have a pretty standard comp except uh you know the buzz is kind of a variation instead of rico so you're kind of relying on the buzz to just uh hopefully just take out the rico because if buzz gets on the rico it should be just like gg and uh you know you go from there so i'm gonna get my turret pretty early but because we have a buzz and he hasn't gone on anyone it's kind of a 2v3 right now right so i have to burn a tp unfortunately and bobby does go for the stew um and you can just see they're like in my zone so it's really hard for me to do anything right now uh but bobby is gonna get his super back unfortunately he's gonna miss as he's gonna get a good dodge off and uh you know his levy is just gonna take him out as well and um it's really hard 8-bit without like speed turret or without like my turret and uh we just kind of have to hope for a play bobby's gonna miss his uh gadget on buzz again i get his levy down to one shot but uh you know here alex gonna almost take out my turret and uh you know it's kind of like a 2v3 at this point that's the issue if you play buzz and um you know it doesn't like lead to anything really it's kind of just standing there so uh unfortunately like the start of the game was really rough for this one and you know pam's got the gadgets she's all the way at the back and uh you know we kind of need a miracle play at this point i lose all my ammo bobby's gonna hit the pam but uh it's just not gonna connect for any damage 
And uh, we are gonna lose the first game with Jump Grab. All right guys, game number two. So we are gonna go for the Rico Stu 8-bit, pretty much the standard comp here. They're actually gonna switch to the Buzz and a Jackie. So they're just kind of looking to run at us and get position. We have to pinch really well if uh, we want to win this game and just kind of play a really control based game. So as Levy is doing a good job just applying pressure there. And you know, we can't ignore it because it is a Jackie. So I elect to go for some gems just because, you know, it's five nothing already if they just get those gems. And yeah, we really got to get as Levy out as a team. Zara is going to get him pretty low and we are going to take Alec out. I'm going to get as Levy as well. So now is our time to just kind of like push up and hold and we're going to get the gem carrier down as well. But Alec, he's going to have to pick up some of those gems. I think he's going to get a really good stun off on Zar. And, uh, you know, that hitbox is kind of questionable, uh, but it was a really good super from him. And, uh, yeah, they are going to kind of tie it up with the gems after that. So I'm going to get some really good value off that turret and just get another one and just make sure Bobby's getting the damage buff on it as well. So as Levy, he's trying to sneak up and go into the grass where he was earlier, but uh, me and Zara were in really good positions to pinch him. And Alec is going to go in there and I'm going to take out his Levy and... You know, I think I take out Alec here as well. So uh, some nice shots for me coming through and I'm gonna TP, I can't grab those two gems. It's too much of a risk. And uh, yeah, we just have to make sure we don't get backed up too much now. But uh, Bobby's gonna hit a good super on them and I'm just trying to poke them out a little bit. I can't TP back here because uh, they're just on my turret and Alec's gonna hit a crazy buzz super on me, unfortunately. I think we just kind of have to like either like body block or just like because we can't back up otherwise we just get spawned like team wiped um but you know it's kind of hard when i don't have a turret either because they just collapse on my turret and alec just hit like a really good super on me as well so we're gonna get swept in gem all right guys so the third map is sneaky fields i personally like this map a lot because i get to play gale every game pretty much um so you can just see alec is going kind of wild on the tank and we did choose sandy now uh Lucky for us, uh, they didn't quite have the angle there. And yeah, um, we just kind of have to survive and look for a team wipe. So uh, you can see their Gale is running slow and I'm running a uh, stun Gale because I think it's better here personally. Stun Gale is honestly like really good on some maps, that's why. Uh, it's literally a free kill and you can charge your super back really easily a lot of the time. So I know Raz is around there, I'm just kind of checking and uh, I think, okay, so he's actually going to use his gadget on me and I'm just going to try getting as much value because I am going down there obviously, so I want to make sure I get some value before I go down. Uh, now we really need to get control of this mid grass, so a sandy super would be really nice. And, uh, you know, Zara is going to get taken out. So I'm just going to drop my tornado there. So that side's pretty much protected, right? So I'm going to get a really good stun there. And you can see the value of just that star power alone. And I am staying alive with 60 HP, which is really important because I can drop my gadget there if needed. Uh, but the M super is actually going to zone us off. And you can just see the stun getting a ton of value again. And, um... Yeah, the stun's actually gonna bail us out there. I got us like three kills, I think, in that like whole interaction for like 20, 30 seconds. And um, you know, we are gonna get some position here. Bobby's gonna drop his penguins, and uh, now we just kind of have to time a team wipe around when the Gale doesn't have like the ball and the gadget, like just like that. There's not really any outplaying it. So uh, you know, I am gonna gadget just to keep myself alive there. I think that's a really good gadget, and uh, we do team wipe, but because the ball is in that corner, nobody can touch the ball. So I'm gonna drop a gadget here just so they can't go around and do the same gadget because I think we're in a really good spot to score. So you see the stun, double stun, and um, you know, we kind of have to go for something here in my opinion, but uh, unfortunately, like, we just didn't coordinate well enough, I think. Maybe we should have waited an extra second. I kind of called to go for the play, um, but and it's really difficult, like, uh, knowing when to score on this map sometimes because, uh, like, Gale Gadget in the wall, and you literally, the, nobody plays Wahlberg here, so you kind of have to time a team wipe. It's really silly, in my opinion. Um, but over time, we just kind of lose because uh, Zar can't hit anyone in overtime besides maybe the Ash, but if he's on the Ash, the Ash can just run him down. So I, like, there's no walls for me either, so Gale kind of has the advantage in overtime as well. Um, their gills compared to mine, 
And I'm just gonna super because I wanna keep them off the ball and it's decent value. So I hit two people with my super so I can just kind of chain it back. And uh, you can see there, we're just kind of like praying for a tie, honestly, at this point. And um, yeah, like so far so good. Bobby is gonna get supered back, but he got two critical hits there and that's really good. So we want Zar just, I have to play around the ball because my super and uh yeah i'm just the best brawler on our team in overtime so uh we got to play around me and you know we do manage to hang on so it's gonna be a redo and yeah we have to play the same comp. game number two now we did have to redo the exact same comp same star power same everything same gadgets uh it's case of cup rules if you get a tie it's pretty much a continuation of the game uh but they are gonna be off to a really good start this time and they'll manage to just kind of walk through us Maybe I could have saved my gadget for the other side. Uh, in my head, like, it played out differently, obviously. Um, so you can see Bobby getting some good trades off on Alec there. And, uh, you know, Zari, he just really needs to sneak up and get a sneak, uh, sleep, just like that, sorry. And, uh, yeah, it's looking like a really good chance for us to score. I'm going to get a good knockback. Unfortunately, it didn't get the stun quite off. But this should 100% be a goal. But uh, just kind of a misplay there, in my opinion. I think we could have 100% scored. And uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate. So I'm gonna gadget before I died, you know, just to kind of like keep them from going up on that side. And uh, you know, we just want to control the mid. So if I can delay them, I think that gadget was fine. I wanted to stay alive, obviously, but uh, can't always get what you want, guys. You know. So uh, now they're kind of like we know they're over on that side. Zara, he's gonna put his Sandy super, and I'm gonna look to just get a kill on his Levy or Alec or something. Uh, so I'm actually gonna get the kill or I almost get the kill on Alec and you know We can just kind of go clean up. So Bobby did a really good job on the left side and uh, Unfortunately, it did go to overtime though. Like we had to talk about overtime last game and uh, You know, we don't have a very good overtime comp So if we really just like got that early goal, I think it would have been really good um, Maybe I saved my super there for the right side again I just wanted to get rid of Alec, but I think the right play would be me saving the super, but we are going to lose game number one. All right, guys, game number two, technically three. I mean, one was a redo. And, you know, we we're going to have mirror matches, but uh, for some reason, both of our lanes lost. And uh, even though it was mirror, kind of unfortunate. Um, but uh, they're in a really aggressive position to start this game up. And, you know, I was... Told to go the slow, I regret that decision. I think stun is better, but I uh, gave into peer pressure here. So a little unfortunate, and if I got the stun there, I think we definitely get at least a kill. And you know, I'm just gonna super him off, get my gadget off, and uh, try to just like keep us in this game because, you know, I think the Gale should uh, definitely have a lot of impact on this map, especially with these comps that are being played. So you can see he actually went the slow, which, uh, or sorry, the stun, which I think is superior one for this one. I will not make the same mistake again. Uh, Bobby and Alec just kind of doing Ash things, like delay shooting each other. Um, Alec is pushing up the right side. I know that's happening, so I just want to keep pressure there. And Bobby's just going to throw out his penguins, trying to get some pressure. Zar, unfortunately, does run back into the last stick of the M's, and he's going to get taken out there. Uh, Bobby is going to almost get taken out, but his gadget keeps him up. Alec hits a 3k on me. Ash with uh, the damage gear is insane, by the way, guys. And uh, yeah, there's going to be some lag. We got that lag in game two. And uh, I'm just going to super back. And you know, you can see the stun, the stun gets them the goal. So definitely good call by Raz, switching over to the stun star power, it secured them a goal. And um, yeah, Bobby's gonna run through the M's and make a really aggressive play here. Does really good job on the Ash and uh, you know, just kind of carries and we end up getting a goal off it just as easy as that. So really nice play from Bobby there. And yeah, it's 1-1, one, one. we just gotta be careful. I'm trying to keep Zara alive, but I wanna keep the ball away from Raz too. And uh, Alec just hits another 3K on me. And you know, a little unfortunate, but we lost Brawl Ball. All right guys, so uh, we are down 2-1 uh, and it is gonna be on Bounty. So uh, we went for a tick. Piper and Leon, but the main difference here is uh, even though we have mirror comp uh, Bobby doesn't have curve and you can see his levy getting killed kill with the curve right there We brought knockback because uh, again, this isn't draft. Obviously, there's uh, you know same brawlers, but uh, 
Yeah, we were just worried about them running tanks, to be honest, and Knockback is pretty game-changing with the tanks. So we gotta play a little better just because they have the better gadget on Piper, but Toonie's already off to a really good start. He kinda gets a very sneaky kill. And uh, if Bobby has Curve there, I think he could maybe get that kill. It'd be close, at least. But uh, we got them pushed back, and my goal, like, I'm literally just standing still. I don't need to give Raz a single hit this game. And uh, I don't think I do for a very long time at least, maybe uh, towards the end he hits me once or twice. So my goal is just keep Raz back and then check Piper Bush every now and then. And uh, you know, you're going to see another kill by the curve there. So they definitely got, uh, not lucky I want to say, but it was a good call to take curve because I don't think they expect us to go tanks. We don't have a very good track record of playing tanks on this particular map. If you guys watched Worlds, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so, you know, oh, also guys, we're down a map right now because Bobby didn't change the map. So, uh, you know, that kind of sucks, but, uh, Raz is going to take Toonie out as well. And, uh, I'm going to get my ticket on Alec and we're going to have them really backed up. I know Raz is there, so I'm calling it. I'm like, guys, like you went invis, he's still here. Like just get ready to shoot him and we get free kill. Uh, so we need two kills here and I'm just keeping Raz really low. Toonie's invisible. And uh, he has Invisi heal, so you know we do manage to get a kill on Alec, and Tuna's gonna clean up Raz, and we're gonna just run away, and we somehow managed to get that one. It was very close, but uh, yeah, we managed to pull it out. All right, guys, game number two, technically three, because it's one one because we didn't change the map. Um, and yeah, they went for double thrower, so I think their comp's definitely better. Uh, Toonie is going to run in and die, but he's going to get a lot of value for his super, so it's not the worst. They had blue stars, so we can't just poke the entire game, you know. We got to make something happen, and uh, those walls are just going to be so suppressive. So Toonie's going really aggro. He's just trying to get his super because it should be a kill if he does get his super. So uh, I kind of realized that, like, I have to do something this game. Uh, otherwise, like... It's not even just the game, right? A whole tournament's on the line if we don't win. So I'm going really aggro, and uh, I do catch Raz out a little bit. I put my tick head behind him, so it knocks him towards me. And uh, we are going to get the kill there. So we're only down by one kill right now. And uh, Toonie's been one shot from his Leon Super for a very long time. And they're going to switch the tick on me just to try to get me out because it's a mirror match. And Bobby just narrowly misses Raz again. Again, he does have knockback. Just uh, we thought it was a possibility to go tanks and... Um, you know, I'm in a very aggressive position. I think I've hit a lot more shots than Alec has here. So I'm going to connect all my shots and my ticket and I'll gadget the Piper shot and I'll block with my ticket and we kind of did like a little heist there and we're running for our lives at this point. I'm like, yo guys, like just back up. Like, I don't want to lose this game. Like, I don't want to like be out in the semifinals. Like just back up and uh, Bobby's going to get kind of a kill there. I'll pick up a kill on Alec and somehow we make it to the fifth set. Uh, it's really scuffed, but uh, yeah, we did manage to make it to the fifth set. All right guys, so this is gonna be the final map. Uh, it is split and uh, yeah, they're going uh, Poco Gale, which is actually, like it sounds kind of weird, but it's actually a really good comp. Uh, it's just super hard to get them out. And uh, you can see, um, Alec is just gonna kind of walk around and just get back in the zone and uh, me and Bobby were just having a really tough time killing them. Now Toonie is gonna be on Primo. We thought they might go like Frank or something so the Primo would be really good into it, you know. And uh, we do almost take out Alec. I'm gonna super him but you know it's kind of chalked because we need to hold down the right zone. Pretty much the right zone is supposed to be the easy zone but uh, they've just held it down this entire time. So I'm gonna super Alec and he's gonna actually just finish it off there. So that's really unfortunate for us. Now I have to play really aggressive but we have to get that zone at the same time. Like we have to defend the other zone and Raz is gonna open it up. So Bobby's gonna get a really good super off but unfortunately they both just live like one shot. Otherwise that could have been game changing honestly. It was a really good try and I'm just gonna jump in kinda like stupid i probably should have just supered uh but we're running out of time we got to get them out of the zone and uh yeah this game is just kind of we didn't hold down the right side like i think toonie played fine but uh it was just kind of like not a good game from us so we're gonna be they're gonna take us to match point okay guys so um yeah they are gonna go for a wall break comp um and i do manage to catch raz uh right when he was going into his mech so he has no value on his uh, super right now um, kind of greedy from him, but uh, with their comp, I think they need a really good start and uh, 
You know, wall break comps, they are supposed to be weaker at the start of the game until you open it up, but Toonie's gonna get really good super off, and uh, second one's gonna be really good too, so Toonie's kind of playing really well in the Frank right now. And uh, yeah, you know, Bobby is just gonna go help him out, and I'm able to just hold down this zone myself, uh, but Alec is gonna catch me out, and unfortunately, the fire, I just walked back into it, otherwise I almost kill him. I'm not sure if I got my super or not, but we're gonna have such a big lead, and with Frank, you can just kind of bully them out and uh you know just get priority of the zone so uh yeah pretty straightforward game from us and uh the poco gale is very strong as you guys can see it's won both games so far all right guys so whoever wins this one does win so it was kind of obvious that we were going for the same comp and uh, i think they do have the counter this game the buzz is really good into all of ours even me because i don't have the gadget that counters buzz so, uh, you know, we're off to a good start, but it's really going to be tough for us to take them out once they get positioned. So, Toonie's been doing a really good job. His lobby's going to hit a good Rico Super up on me. And, uh, you know, Bobby's just going to be trying to get some time. But the Surge is just really tough for all of us. It does counter all three of our Brawlers. So, it's going to be a team effort, and we have to make sure they get out of the right zone. Because, again, that's the easy zone. And, um, you know, Bobby and us, we come together and we do manage to take out uh, their buzz. But, you know, it's going to be, it's kind of an uphill battle at this point because uh, Alex going to get a nice super off too. We're going to trade, but uh, it's Raz versus Toonie and Toonie, you know, he's at a disadvantage just based off the brawlers. So Raz is doing a really good job. We do secure the right zone. Uh, Alex going to hit a really good stun and... You know, we're definitely just hanging on by a thread at this point. Surge is level four and, uh, you know, they're just kind of getting super after super on the buzz and the surge is just poking us out. It's being really oppressive. So I have to play really aggro and just try getting my super for when the buzz gets his super. He's going to hit a max range gadget on me. So I'm going to knock Raz into the wall, but he's going to super and he'll trade with me. So that's actually such a good play from Raz. And, uh, you know, Alec kind of has a free lane now because it's just Bobby by himself. He can't do anything. And unfortunately, we are going to go down. So I think they definitely had to counter that game, but, you know, Props to them, they played really well, and uh, they ended up winning the whole tournament. They swept Tribe in the finals. So uh, congrats, Alec, Islevi, and Raz for uh, winning Queso Cup. And yeah, I think we played pretty bad overall today. So uh, definitely looking to get on the grind and uh, just play better for next time. Yeah, guys, anyways, that is going to be today's YouTube video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be back. I'm currently pushing my B with uh, Luki and Pika to 2,000 trophies, so we're... A little over 1300 right now and yeah looking to get some more content out for you guys peace